Here's an idea that I don't know why more concrete stair builders don't use. However, I think I know why, and that's because figuring out the stair stringers and cutting them might be a little difficult. However, for someone like me, if I was going to build a set of concrete stairs like this, this is the method I would use. And the main reason for using it is the fact that it seems like it would be a lot faster. And now would be a good time to point out that I am not going to provide you with information on how to cut the stair stringers because I have plenty of information at the website for that. And the whole purpose of this video is just to throw this idea out. Use some stair stringers, set them on top of the lower forms and either under or have the forms above butt up against like we have here. And then you would simply attach your risers, maybe some 2x8s to the stringers with screws or nails that can be removed easily. And one of the reasons why I'm showing you this is because I actually think it's going to be easier for do-it-yourselfers to do something like this. Now you can also shape the bottom of the risers and this is to allow the trowel to come in here and get closer to the edge of the corner here. And some concrete finishers choose to do that, others don't. And I've never built a concrete set of stairs where I didn't strip everything down that day and finish the stairway. And I would recommend that you do the same also. Now let's just go ahead and get started. You can start with a single board here and a single board up here. Or you can build the forms for the lower and upper deck. And again, this is something that you can do under some circumstances and you might not want to do it under other circumstances. And if you're trying to figure out the riser height, you could always extend the form board and then level it so that you can get the measurement that for the total rise. And that would be from the top of the upper deck or landing up here to the top of the landing below. And in our case here, we are going to be using 35 inches or two foot 11. And if we divide five into 35, we're going to get seven inches. So that will give us five seven inch risers. And these are the numbers that we're going to use to lay out our stair stringer. We're going to have a 10 inch wide step, which there will be four of, one, two, three, four five risers, four steps, and make sure that you put a level on top of the steps to make sure that they are level. That is going to be the most important part of building any stairway. And again, after you cut the stringer, you just simply set it on top of your form board. And then you can add stakes or braces on the other side, along with attaching it to the upper form board and then you're going to want to make sure that it is nice and straight, of course. And this one can be used as a guide. So you can always do one side first. And not only will this part of the stairway need to be level, this part of the stairway will need to be level also. Next up, let's take a look at the stakes. And you can put as many as you want in your stairway. And that it is not going to move when you place the concrete inside of the forms. Next up, I want to provide you with another idea, something that might work better for you under other circumstances. For example, here we have the stringer sitting on top of the forms. However, if we were going to build the stairway forms first, then you might want to have the forms sit below the top of the form if that's going to work better. Another idea at the top will be to have the stringers underneath the form board. And then, of course, you could always notch around it. So just wanted to throw out a couple of more options if these will work better for you. Now, if you're new to cutting stair stringers, then I think you're going to be better off by having them sit on top of the forms. And then at the top, you could always have it coming straight down here. However, as always, I will have to leave that up to you because a lot of this, as I already mentioned, is going to depend upon what type of situation you're dealing with and construction practices you're going to be using. 
And here's another thing you might want to consider, and that will be why some concrete stairs might have either a raised area at the back or a recessed area in the back here. And most of the time it's going to be because the form boards weren't removed before the concrete was finished. And if you have a raised section, you can see here we have the form and they finish the concrete to the front edge of the form board here. And either the concrete in the step either lowered or would have been finished from the top edge of the form board and then angled back a little bit. And I'm not about to suggest that the forms couldn't be in the wrong spot either to create the raised section like we have here in our example. So again, this section would have either sank a little bit before the concrete dried or would have been angled a little bit with this, or you might have different riser heights throughout the stairway. And if you have a recess spot, you can see here where the form board was not removed. And we just simply reverse the last few examples. So if you have a form board that was a little too low or a section of the step that would not have been flush or even with the bottom of the form board, then you could end up with a recessed section shaped like the form board they used to build the concrete stairs. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.